Magando Maga Kumusto everybody, this is Scott Expat in the Philippines. Well, we're in my old area of East Kilo. I'm just going to go down and I'll show you where we... I used to live. The house is no longer there, but uh, they've put units up on the um, land. So, um, a little bit different, but... Uh, Nevertheless, same block of land. Uh, this is the old street we used to hang out. My friend's house is that one we just passed there on the right. I park here on the right. Our neighbour's house here on the left. And that's where we used to live straight across there, guys. Um at 18 Shelley Street, East Keelor and uh, our friends Paul used to live next door and uh, the brown fence on my right is where Auntie Jenny used to live um, Peter across the road uh, a friend of ours lives in that one just past with the picket fence we used to live there a high school directly up here in front The leisure center on the right. They shut the gate. <laughs> Can't get up there now. Sorry, guys. That's where we have our the swimming pool and uh, gymnasium and indoor swimming pool there. This is uh, where we used to hang out. It used to be a fence going right down one way and oh, the balloons are up in the air. Uh, and uh, it was an old quarry site where these houses on my right uh, was all paddocks. Along here, and the houses straight up, the fence used to run down uh, parallel that way um, down this road. Um, I'll just get out and show you. Hang on, guys, it's early morning here, about 6 47. So this is the old quarry site where we used to hang out. We used to swim down here. And uh, it was all vacant land. Along here. And the lake down the bottom. Where that white house over there is, behind that used to be another creek uh, quarry uh, part, similar to the lake down the bottom. The balloons in the far foreground. So all this was all originally just nothing, just bear paddocks. Sun coming up over there.
We used to ride our push bikes. I'm actually up at the uh, viewing platform all around here when we were kids. Used to come through that area straight down the creek there. Um, it was all fenced off up the top. And uh, used to ride and sneak in here of a night time and or daytime and uh, hang around and play. We got up to mischief. <laughs> Things you do when you're kids. That's the lake down there. Self made. We were just above where that house is up the top there. Now it's all units here and houses. As far as the eye can see. So this is where we used to hang out when we were kids. Yeah, so we used to hang around here when we were kids. It was all vacant property. Excuse me. Um, now they're all housing and units here. And uh, they look good. Looks great. It's uh, just give you an idea what you can use with an old disused uh, quarry. There's two quarries in. One in East Keeler and the other one's on the other side in Sunshine. That also is being used for um, housing. Sorry about that guys, a bit of sun. Um, I opened up the drone last night and uh, put the batteries in the control and uh, Turned the drone on, not thinking that it had charge in it. <laughs> Silly Billy me. And um, it uh, hovered, and then um, I must have touched the control. Uh, toggle sw switch and it went into the door all's good no blades broken so um, I'll have to check it out today sometime see if it's uh, okay yes I have kept the receipt um, just in case Just give you a look at ground view here. Yeah. This is just a view of the creek uh, and lake on the ground. I was just looking back up from where I was.
all units and apartments there. Different uh, the dirt and rock and slate at the bottom and the uh, quarry wall. That's where we were before, up there at the viewing platform. That's a sales office there for units and that. Have ducks and tortoises in this water. Hello little fellas. No, I haven't got any bread, sorry. Not today, not from me. Sorry guys. Plenty of wildlife, ducks. Um, two coming over now. There used to be more than this a while back. We used to swim over there uh, from that point straight ahead where the ducks are coming in. It used to be a bit shallower um, where I'm standing to as well. Uh, cold in winter. That's those two little fellas talking to me. <laughs> I've got these two little fellas coming over to see if I've got some bread on me. <laughs> Sorry guys. Sorry to disappoint you. And it was a pretty vast area they quarried. A lot of basalt I think and rock and that for nurseries and um, other things. Back in uh, the 60s, uh, you could hear the blast or feel the blast from where we used to live uh, up in Shelley Street. So that's the uh, old uh, Nidri Quarry where we used to uh, ride. That's a uh, sales office as I've said there um, for land and property you know, walking and taking dogs up here we used I used to bring Tara up here my Rottweiler that I had before um, for walks and let her run in the creek back there which is called Steel Creek and uh, that runs into the Maribyrnong I'll uh, show you that now this is uh, behind um, the quarry it used to run right down through the old creek actually runs through it, sorry guys, um, which is that creek straight in front of us. And goes all the way down through here to the Maribyrnong River and meets up at the Maribyrnong River there'll be morning workers and the quarry where I'm sitting 
used to be um, here too as well and the fence line went to the power post there Materials or old fence. So there's putting houses. I used to walk, as I said, used to walk uh, Tara around here, and um, she used to have a ball off the lead. Uh, all that was cliff face here. Um, now it's made into uh, retaining walls and footpaths. And the creek is on my right there. So it covered a very big area, this quarry. And there was like a little lake up, as I said, up the top. Um, next to, um, when I turned around facing towards where we were earlier. Um, there used to be like another... Um, part where they were mining but they filled that all in for the housing they didn't start building on it for about probably a good 20 years ago now because I'm 53 and I was born here in 1965 and mum and dad had the house in 1960 so uh, the quarry was going from 1960 up until I think 1976 they stopped blasting so they made it a nice area anyway just the same which is good um, around here is nice along the creek and dogs around here and put them off the lead for a while and where we were just before straight over there this here on my left is a uh, reserve for birds to uh, hide, hide and um, you know basically make a family there just go up and have a look around here and then we'll head home plenty of nice houses here plenty of land still for sale here prices I don't know what they're looking for how much I should say sorry and I used to walk around here guys um, and this part of the creek and uh, this is still creek still uh, it used to be all dirt around here and up here is uh, more um, used to be more hilly and rocky area changed since I was up here last far different cry from um, <laughs> rocks and that now it's all housing and I, I won't get out of the car because it's a wee bit chilly again oh, I'll probably get here have a look see Another view from 
up here, looking down at the lake. That's East Keeler up on top of the hill there, guys. And that's Nidri over that side of the hill. <laughs> Truck pipped its horn, scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> So, uh, it's amazing what a uh, disused quarry can turn out to be like and where this viewing or walkway is uh, used to be the end of the quarry and uh, the fence ran right around uh, here at the bottom and uh, used to run all the way down to um, in line with this pathway uh, you couldn't get in here from here it used to be blocked security uh, like a security gate and uh, the rest of this was all uh, under security in the late 80s and now it's just a um, housing estate um, for um, yeah, people to live and uh, enjoy with a bit of recreation and um, animals and ducks uh, there are tortoises and I think they've put fish in the lake so um, that's not bad it's good people uh, animals get to breed and live in peace with people Head on home now, guys. Um, just thought I'd take you through the old quarry where I used to hang around and my mates when we were young kids, having fun, enjoying life. And our mothers and fathers used to wonder what, what we got up to when we were kids. <laughs> Oh, well, this is it. We used to hang around up here. And boy, it was fun. Lots of lovely houses up here now, and units. More land for sale by the look of things. block there uh, auction on the 4th of May so there is still some land uh, doves hanging around on the fence back there I hope you enjoyed uh, our little tour of the quarry
chilly outside. It's about eight degrees, guys. People walking. Doing some exercise, early morning exercise before you go to work, eh? Hey? take you down and show you our shopping centre that we used when we used to live here it's just a little shopping centre plenty more units going up here houses Fish and chips, chicken shop, pizza shop. Clark Boutique used to be a um, uh, dress shop and there's a noodle bar, dry cleaners, that's a lot of agents, gun shop, hairdresser as well. Play bakery and uh, quality affordable meats. Another food shop. Auto Works is still there, Frankie. Yeah, salon. Variety shop. Have a park in the middle, guys. Cafe, dog's bath, my friend Kim's place uh, that she owns. Uh, IGA, his killer shopping centre. I'll just show you, this is the park we used to come down and play and enjoy having fun they built the rotunda there it looks like they've cleaned it up and painted it made it look a bit more respectable smoothies and sushi another shop going up okay. uh, tobacco shop Kebabs and barber shop and a cake shop. So it's all happening in this part of the woods. <laughs> it's pretty quiet. JB used JB Hi-Fi used to be here too as well. But uh, I used to be in the big building on the far right there. Anyway guys, this has been Scott Expat in the Philippines. Um, have a great day, enjoy relax have fun um, take it easy and have a great day